Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's talk hook up is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano rods and reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Welcome back. Hour number two, Let's Talk Hook Up, coming your way in the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio and that Let's Talk Hook Up app. Having a great show this morning. Captain Jing, Jim Kingsmill, when we say binocular expert, Southern California fishing expert, yacht captain. It's just a great time. We're talking all about binoculars today uh, with gyropros.com, gyrobinos.com. Those are your sources for getting the absolute best binoculars on the water. Been a great show so far this morning, talking fishing. The last spot we heard before uh, we came back there was from the Royal Star all that great fishing a couple of really cool opportunities um, coming up to be fishing on the Royal Star two trips that were completely sold out ahead of time but had people drop off so um, you know opportunity to slide in uh, both three day trips on Royal Star uh, first is a uh, uh, there's only two spots they just came available November 24 through 27 some fantastic bluefin fishing still to be had and a great trip poised to get right in on it you could probably get that good bluefin fishing you have time to get down the elephant zone so a great opportunity uh, november 24th through november 27 also several spots open again uh november 29 through december 2 both three-day trips you can check royalstarsportfishing.com or you can give tracy a call in the office at 619-224-4764 and with that said it's time to find out what's biting in the catch report Corey. yeah and if you've uh, filled up lately then you know gas prices are way up so now more than ever you need summit gasoline at the San Diego Sports Arena. Pull up to the expanded Summit Gasoline and get low, low, low gas prices and diesel prices for your car, truck, and your boat. Uh, they can now accommodate 24 cars and trucks. A place is huge. They can all fuel up at one time. Uh, plus 12 diesel pumps. Uh, the Bistro, it's got everything you need for a full day uh, on the water. Plus, you get 100 pounds of free ice, man. 100 pounds of free ice if you purchase 35 gallons or more. Step in and say hello to Martha and the friendly gang there at uh, Summit Gasoline. Again, it's at the uh, San Diego Sports Arena. Summit Gasoline. No doubt. Well, let's start off with our private motor buddy, Captain Mark Wish of Pacific Edge is on the line. Good morning, Mark. Morning, Rick. Morning, Corey. Morning, Jimmy. Great show. This morning, Good Mark. Morning. Good to have you Good back, morning. Mark. Yeah, you know, we took a couple weeks off there. We actually took a vacation. I think that's what you call it. Um, nice. Kind of weird. We flew back to Memphis and then floated down the Mississippi River on a brand new cruise ship down in New Orleans. Man, what a different world back there. <laughs> oh my How fun! God. <laughs> Looking uh, that Mississippi River, you see about maybe two inches in terms of clarity. But man, there's some big catfish that river in that thing. But and uh, you, you guys were just talking about gas prices there. Most of the gas prices we saw were between two fifty nine and two seventy one. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Anywhere outside of California, that's right? crazy. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. But anyway, so locally, since I've been gone, I'm a little bit behind a curve in terms of gathering info. Um, I think the the hottest news was somebody got a really nice Capria out here on uh, Geyser Reef. Really? A le- oh. Legit yeah, nice spot in Korea. They, they let him go, so he's still out there, too. Yeah. Uh, same thing with, I, I had one of my customers show me a picture of a leopard grouper that they caught inside Huntington Harbor here a few months ago, like an eight-pounder. And they let him go, too. So Crazy. Yeah. New stuff coming. But, uh, you know, in terms of local fishing, really, you know, nothing changed much. We do got a ton of squid around, so hopefully... Some game fish find that. You know, Santa Monica Bay's got some bait along the lower edge of Palos Verdes there, which bodes well for a guy that maybe wanted to go look for a sea bass there at Furman Reef. Definitely caught uh, more than a few there at this time of year. And uh, Catalina's got scattered bait all up and down the backside there. So we'll see that get rolling here. And then offshore, you know, for you guys who want to catch tuna fish, man, it doesn't seem to be any shortage of them. That main zone is uh, kind of from the corner to the 43 and then a bit southwest from there. A lot of fish in there. 
a lot of it's nighttime fish on the jigs and some daytime long drifts on flight line and small hooks and of course the sinker rigs work in there and uh, but no shortage of fish we do got a little bit of wind coming uh, for tomorrow it's decent today but probably gonna get a little breeze after this weather system goes by tomorrow but I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we got some really nice weather they're talking northeast uh, conditions here before Thanksgiving so I would imagine more than a few guys are going to have turkey and tuna for Thanksgiving dinner coming up here so but that's, that's about all I got in terms of report. We'll have more next week, obviously, step up to speed. But, man, I got to tell you, what you guys are talking about, you know, all the binocular stuff, I mean, I've spent a lifetime looking through those things. I love my gyros. Absolutely game changers, exactly like you got been saying. But the one thing I would add for a lot of private boat guys, you know, having that beautiful pair of $5,000 gyros sitting up there on the dashboard just looking at you, it doesn't do you any good. I mean, it's like Ricky was saying, you know, you run a while, you stop, you look, you run some more, you look, or got a little bigger boat, you know, you got guys always looking. It's still a huge amount of work to see what there is to see, and, you know, an awful lot of what we catch is what we see. So, anyway, uh, make sure you put them things up to your eyes and get your money's worth. I love my gyros. I mean, we're out Earlier this summer when that drottle first showed up, and we had hit a dozen, now maybe eight or ten kelps for nothing, and happened to see a tiny little flash half a mile off to the side. We turned that way, found the kelp, and that was the mother mode. That's it, that, man. That was it. And without the gyro, seeing that little drottle jump would not have got one, and maybe would have caught nothing that day. It's just one of a thousand stories. That's cool. That, uh, there it is. All about finding fish and them gyros. I, I don't care who on the boat finds the spot as long as it's me. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, as long as, yeah, it, it, it can be anybody as long as it's me. I, I, I'm good with it. You know, no problem. I just want to be the guy to say I got it and I got it. There it is. Turn, I found the one. We're we're done. Just wind them in. Wind the jigs in. This is this is the spot. Just get yeah. ready. Clean, you know, clean it up. A few, a few years back, in uh, one of the marlin tournaments there. I had Skeet fishing with me. That, that Skeet is a classic. I mean, he's a, such a good fisherman, such a low-key guy. He put those gyros up, and I didn't hear hardly anything out of him all day long other than, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got one. You turn that way, and you go however far, and sure enough, there's Taylor. So, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Good, the best, the best three words you get to say on the boat, no doubt about it. <laughs> I got one. Turn this way. 15 degrees, I got it. Keep coming. Yeah. Hey, Mark, great job. Appreciate it very much. Glad to have you back. Glad you had such a well-deserved and great vacation. Glad to hear there's some good tuna fishing to be had as well. If somebody wants to come find you, Pacific Edge, how do we do it? Yeah, we're actually back to work, and uh, we're in a corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger. Phone number at the store is uh, 714-840-4262. Website's PacificEdgeTackle.com. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. Right Have on, a good buddy. Thanksgiving, everybody. Pre- appreciate that very much. Thanks thanks so much for a great report. Uh, we're still waiting for our buddy Marcos from C4 Sport Fishing uh, to uh, continue with our catch report. want to remind you, if you want a chance to call 213-432-1090, is your chance to win a brand-new pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses, a $300 gift certificate going to one lucky caller or texter at the end of today's show. 300 bucks coming your way. You can spend that $300 at Costa any way you want. You can get two pairs of $150 glasses. You can get a $250 pair of glasses and spend the extra 50 bucks on shirts and, you know, and croquis and whatever else you want. They, you got 300 bucks coming Rick, your they've way. Got, they've got killer sun shirts. They've got cooler bags. They've got so much cool yeah. stuff. Uh, rad prize. Yeah, yeah. Three, 300 bucks going to, to one lucky caller or texter at the end of the show. Again, 213-432-1090. Uh, your phone call. While we're waiting for Marcos, had a great text come through. This is good morning. This is Raina from Irvine. I was wondering if Jimmy could talk about what the difference is when spotting bluefin. Um, the difference between bluefin breezers and bluefin shiners up on the surface. Can you go into a little bit of detail on what is the difference and how you find them? We're going deep, man. We want some good info. <laughs> I don't think that there's any different tactic in uh, in using the binocular to find them, but it just, I mean, finding that little ripple in the water and, you know, different times of day, you know, different, you're, you're going to, let's put it this way, on the sun side of the boat, you look short, on the glare side of the boat, you look really far because you can, when you have that gray background, you can really see 
uh, distances. And when you're looking for shiners, you're going to see shiners on the sun side of the boat. And so, and the way to, to gauge that is just you look one side, the water's blue, and look the other side, the water's gray. And, uh, you know, the shiners are going to be outside, and you're going to see the breezers much further away in the glare. When somebody says a shiner, what are they referring to? Uh, you know, the bluefin when they're, when they're, whatever they're eating, the biomass, and they're... So that's the fish itself. It's not the shine on the water. It's the shine of the fish that's yeah. turning on its side. It's yeah, the, you see this. The, the, sun, the sun basically you know, shines on the silver. You know, like the, the fish is straight up in the water, so it's just a black back. But when they turn, whether they're eating or turning, you see that silver side. And it gets lit up by the, by the sun. Yep. So they're not talking about like the, the shine from the sunshine on the water, but the actual fish getting lit up. Yep, yep. And, the, you know, the, the breezers, the, the toughest thing on the breezers in, in identifying... When you're looking on the glare side and you're looking really far, is, is you see a disturbed water. You can't sometimes hard to tell if it's a, a current rip or if it's a breezer. And and kind of that gauge that I use is if it's too long and it goes the whole 180 degrees of the horizon, you're you know it's going to be current, current. Current. And if it's it has to, a starting point and an ending point, I go over and check it out. I get closer to try to see if we can see you know. A fish stick his nose up. What What's the furthest? I mean, a question come from me. What's the furthest you've seen something in in the gyros that turned you that direction? Like, so, uh, there, I mean, there's got to be something. So one of the four mile best ex- examples of that is um, is we would uh, and when I worked for Anthony Shea, we would go 30 miles in any direction out of Cabo and find tuna schools, and we would. I would be in the tower, and we'd be trolling, and if you saw one dolphin jump sky high, I could see it up to eight miles away. Eight wow. miles. Eight miles. <laughs> possibly further. It wow. depends on atmospheric conditions, sure. your yeah. haze and all right, that. Right, right, right. But in, in good conditions, you can see a jumping dolphin eight miles away. Man, ho- hop on the five freeway and drive eight miles. <laughs> I'm like, saying. Just... That's crazy. And, and we know that cuz we you'd mark the sure. GPS yeah, yeah, right. sure. and run. And it was it wasn't a it wasn't a let's troll over there cuz you don't know which way the school swimming and if it's swimming away from you, you ain't never going to catch it. So, so logistically you pick up the lures and run. Yeah. I mean a few birds in the air 10 feet off the water pretty close to the same I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've seen like tuna bird schools in the in good conditions, I and mean, it's all condition sure. based, you yeah, know, yeah. atmospheric conditions. If there's good conditions, we're seeing bird schools, you know, out front of Dana Point at eight miles. That's crazy. And and with our local, you know, tuna bluefin game, which isn't my game, but I mean, I've done it. That's the whole damn thing is no, it's is everything. being able to it's see everything. something three, four, five miles away. Yeah, I mean, is that was, everything that was that was kind of what got me located this past week in the. Dorado free zone. Let's put it that yeah, way. Is yeah. I would see jumpers, uh, you know, four to six miles away, and know it was wrong or yeah, right. And, yeah, and I and and kind of my gauge of turning the boat was if I saw more than one jumper at the same time in the same look. You know, if I'm yeah. looking at one spot not moving and I see more than one jumper and no birds, I go there. Because if there were birds, it was you know ended up being Dorado. That's wild. But, Dirt, dirty with Dorado. Dirty with Dorado. It was, <laughs> and that was kind of the term. But everybody was fishing the bank, the potato bank, and it was dirty or clean fishing. Wow. And hey, we got some clean fishing up here, and That's that just awesome. means there wasn't a bunch of menacing Dorado Man. <laughs> tearing your gear up. Well, speaking of great fishing, we're going to continue on with our catch pro. We got a little bonus. Captain Mike Pritchard of the Tribute is on the line right now. Good morning, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, good morning, guys. How's it going? We're doing great. Anxious to hear it. Uh, man, there was some great tuna fishing to be had last week, and we had a little bit of weather roll through. Did it? Did it continue to uh, continue to keep our hot streak alive? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm actually, I'm off the boat today. I gotta try to prep my voice for tomorrow. I'm getting over a little funk, but my uh, captain Dan was doing our our night fishing last night, and Hunter Leiden is uh, running the boat here today. Start of the morning with 58 bluefin. So <laughs> that's a pretty good there, start. There's your answer. <laughs> that's awesome. It sounded like they started biting somewhere around 3:30 in the morning. Uh, last two trips we've had phenomenal fishing. Uh, when I was calling in, and in between last trip and this trip, we had a day and a half. Same deal. We had uh, limited bluefin. Um, 
you know, I'll let the guys sit there and try to pick through the bigger ones at night and we end up with limits of bluefin for the crew. Just, I mean, it, it's it's ridiculous. If you look at the reports for the last few days, guys on uh, multi-day trips, I know uh, Jim Hughes, probably enough, just got in, uh, getting off the phone with him. He, he was asking me about these ducks that flew into the side of his boat this morning, which is a whole different world. But I, I know they, they got done with what they needed, um, you know, earlier on, and then we're targeting big fish getting bluefin up to, I think, about 140, 150 pounds. Man, crazy. <laughs> it's just so unreal, it, unreal that it's still going on so good and you know we, we we talk about it all the time that you know we start to run out of fishermen before we run out of fish this is let's not let's not let that happen there's some really good fishing to be had right now it, it's you know i think last year uh, i think i was on the show about the same time and talking about it like some of our best tuna fishing has been november and december for the last several years and it's really hard for people to grasp that, you know, it's like, okay, kids are back in school. We're planning out Christmas. We're planning out Thanksgiving. And like I, I, I said, we, uh, you know, had guys on the boat, uh, like a special shout out to Noodles from Offspring, you know, the guitarist. He was on the boat last week and talking to him. And he goes, you know, we were trying to decide on going uh, tuna or rockfish fishing. And that was the trip we knocked out limits. We went to the 60 and, and killed the reds and Florida's and everything else. And he goes, I mean, come on, what what more can you ask for? <laughs> so rad. Right? Unreal. Well, well Mike, yeah, it, it, so, it's good. It, it's as good as it gets. Some fantastic fishing to be had. We're super pumped to have you in studio here tomorrow as as our guest on Let's Talk Cook Up. But what what's what's next? What do we got for the tribute? I mean, we when when's the next trip? When's the availability? I know there's I mean, like you said, this fishing has just not slowed a bit and what a start to the morning, fifty eight bluefin. Uh you guys have just been killing it. Uh, what's the next available trip to come fishing with you guys? Uh tomorrow night. I will be in the studio with you guys tomorrow morning. Uh tomorrow night we only have 11 people booked on our trip, uh, another Pete supported sponsored trip. Um, I would imagine that that was a decent load, probably not full, but a, a great chance to get out there. And like we've talked about in the past, you know, people go, oh, sashimi is not something you want to throw out before your Thanksgiving day spread, but I guarantee it's the first thing to go. <laughs> right, I'll exactly. Take a, I'll take a fresh every piece of single over time. a dry piece of turkey every right. time. Hey, but, oh, man, you, you get that platter out, you, you know, throw a little wasabi, ginger, soy sauce on there, and people are like, well, hey, wait, wait, what is that? that? That's not normal, and it'll be the first thing to go every time. That's and right. it's available, like, tomorrow night. And, Mike, looking at the weather, I mean, we have a beautiful Santa Ana laying the ocean down for early Monday morning, all through Monday and into Tuesday. I mean, it's like the perfect weather opportunity as, as well as a fishing. We have, we finally got, we had some funk during the, during October. Um, we did lose a couple of trips, which is not normal. I mean, I don't know if it's cycle, things are changing or whatever, but um, our weather right now, if you look at our Facebook post, it, it, it's epic. I mean, it's flat, greasy, calm, warm. Uh, we had a lady on the last trip. She goes, you know, the sunset alone is enough reason to be here. And she's saying that as she's pulling on a on a bluefin in the, you know, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. No, that's <laughs> good times, Mike. Mike, let's leave you with this question. How many pair of gyros do you have on the boat? Yeah, you know, I, I was listening to part of that, and it, it's comical now that I probably have what's worth a you, you could buy a pretty decent car for the amount of gyros that I have. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, you know, it, I was – so earlier on when we first started using stabilized binoculars, I was working for Pat. He was running the Excel, and we had a bird school outside of Puerto Vallarta, and he goes, don't ever – point me in a bird direction or a bird school that far ever again. So, you know, you're doing 10 knots. It, it took over an hour to get to it. And it was booby birds and frigates. And boobies and frigates are big birds. And like um, like he was saying, in nice weather, like, it, it, after a while, he goes, so is, is this like a bird school we run on or is this a Mike Pritchard bird school? And I said, you probably shouldn't go to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, you're up in the nest, and you're, you're seeing bird schools that are in the right conditions 10, 11 miles away. They're, they're big birds, but, you know, in a boat that does 10 knots, that, that's a long way. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. It's, it's like when we have, we have the airplane out spotting for us, and they're like, hey, man, there's a really nice kelp outside of you loaded with Dorado, and they give you the coordinates. I'm like, dude, that's 18 miles. For an airplane, that's nothing. For us, that's the whole, you know, that's the daymaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good, good, good stuff that's for fun, sure, Mike. Mike. And uh, look forward to having you in studio tomorrow. 
Awesome. Yeah, great, great fishing. Uh, there is room on tomorrow night's trip, uh, C4619-224-3383, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning with uh, more good stuff. See you, buddy. Appreciate that, Mike. We'll look forward to seeing you in the morning. Hey, let's continue on. Head on down to C4 Sport Fishing, home of the Tribute, and talk to our buddy Marcos. Marcos, what's going on at C4? Good morning, guys. How is everyone? Very good. Sorry Very good. to keep you on hold there so long, buddy. Thanks for hanging with us. I don't mind holding, but I feel kind of threatened now. Mike pretty much did my job for me. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you hung up through there. Like, we, we should have yeah, I mean, him tell us what the half day guys are catching, and we you could have you could have just slid on off and not had to worry about it. Uh, you have, basically, you guys hit all the major points we're going to be we were going to be talking about here. A little bit of weather, like that pre Thanksgiving week lull where people aren't quite ready to go do stuff because they're getting ready to go on vacation. A uh, little tougher on the counts, not quite as many as we've had, but those. Tips that are getting out there, like I said, the tribute right now, They last I heard they had 58 bluefin. I don't know if you updated on, you, on that. Pacific had 36. Cortez had two days of limits on their three-and-a-half-day trip. And like he was saying, the Cortez has up to 140 pounds, the tribute up to 45 pounds. So we've been talking for a while now. I mean, you definitely got a chance to have that uh, bluefin for Thanksgiving. You know, don't, don't even bother cooking the turkey. Just throw that bluefin on the table. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so it's definitely great fishing on those one day, day and a half. And like I said, Mike gave you a very good rundown of that. Half day, one we've been getting out has been very good fishing. Uh, rockfish, deep water fishing, limits are close to it on most of those trips. San Diego, it's been tough to get them out. Like I said, that little weather mix with that pre-holiday lull, I don't think they ran any trips this week. It's just been a little tough. And like, like you mentioned earlier, talking to Mike there, run out of fishermen before we run out of fish because it's been a long season, guys. I think we started some of this in, like, March. So, you know, it's been a long season, but we are still running trips. We still got those schedules, so check the website, seaforthlanding.com. Got our full schedule up here for those half days. Sea Watch, during the week they're running those 8.30 departures. Uh, this coming up Thursday, or this coming up Friday, excuse me, you know, because of the holiday, we're going to be running Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning and afternoon. So a little change there, but overall it's been that weekday, 30 departures, two departures on the weekend like normal. San Diego's still online. The tribute's got room. So lots of options there. We will be closed on Thanksgiving. I know we sometimes run those half days on Thanksgiving. We're going to take it off this year and then back to normal. And I imagine, you know, as long as you guys keep coming out, we're going to keep catching fish, and we're going to be seeing bluefin in December the way things are going right now. Like nope. you're thinking, man. Uh, no doubt about it. It, Marcos. Great call. Well, glad to hear it. Some great fishing. And like Corey says, beautiful weather on the horizon. Going to be some good local fishing as well. Uh, one more time, give us a number if somebody wants to come book a half day. Uh, any of the great stuff and come fishing with you. Seaforthlanding.com. Got our full schedule up there. You can make reservations online. Just call at the office, 619-224-3383. Come down and visit us in person. Get those MC swim baits to stock your favorite fisherman's stocking. I mean, you could just fill that thing, fill those stockings up with MC swim baits, and that'll make you anyone go. happy. Get everything in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Marcos. And, and we'll talk to you next week, guys. Everybody have a happy Thanksgiving, also. Appreciate you, it, buddy. You too, Marcos. Thank you. All right. <laughs> talk to you later. All right. All right. The Catch Report is sponsored by the Fish Pros and Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. The best processing for your fish when your trip returns. Plus, with Fish Pros and Market, you can purchase their famous spices, their rubs, their poke kit. Stop by their location in Old Town on Taylor Street, or you can order online at fishmansprocessing.com. And be sure to make your reservations by texting them at 619-255-3128. And if they do not send you a text back confirming you are not confirmed That's like it, you will get a text back that uh, they've confirmed your reservation you got it man well the phones are packed up same with the text we had a great text come through for jim that's from um, darren and minifee says jimmy can you help me uh spend the money w what's the right move is it worth spending the uh is it worth saving and risking going with refurbished gyros or should i just buy the new uh what are the ins and outs is it better to just save the or is it better to spend the little extra and buy the new are the used just as good? I'm just not sure which direction to move. That's from Darren and Menifee. You know, that's that tough call of personal preference, and and I've been using the, the M25Es for so long, it's just hard not to recommend it. The two AA batteries, the, the eye shields um, that are a huge help fit them better, and, uh, and those two reasons alone are, to me, I always like the... The Mariner, the M25E better. It just fits my face and mm -hmm. everything better. But the uh, the new ones are great. They're two-year warranty versus the one-year warranty on the refurbs. Um, 
we are working with uh, Brian at Baker Marine to try to get some ice shields that fit the eyepieces of the S250. Okay. So Brian's working on that now, uh, trying to modify the mold, and and that's been a struggle. We've been, and, you know, and it's it's advantageous for all those guys that use the Fujis. That, sure. Because the eyepieces are bigger, and the ice shield don't fit them. It's just a tough squeeze to get them around. The ice, you know, the eyepieces. Baker Marine, undoubtedly, like the the source for service on binoculars, but mainly a Fujinon place. Do do they do service work on Fraser Volpe as well? They will. They are authorized to service. That's awesome. Uh, Frasers, they uh, all the warranty stuff mm-hmm. for for Frasers has to go back to Pennsylvania. Sure, yeah, but after warranty. Uh, Anthony and Brian can take care of you. That's great. So just yet another source. you know. Another source. No, nothing wrong with sending them back basically to the factory. Yep. But if you're in San Diego, you can walk down. They're right in Shelter Island. Quick turnaround. Y- yeah. yeah. That kind of thing. Y- you can talk to the guy that's going to be wrenching on your binoculars. Yep. And, uh, and the, the biggest struggle has been getting them parts. Sure. And that was getting the company getting its parts for itself is a struggle. Mm-hmm. So that's all ramping up and, and all getting caught up. That's the thing that you were the most excited about when we talked to you this morning was like it it, it kind of really feels like things have finally started to get over the hump. Inventory is coming back. Parts yep. are coming back. Like yep. like it was a, you know. Supply chain. Totally. COVID nightmare. It, it, everybody has felt that the tackle store, we feel that the exact same way. Like we're, we're really feeling like things have, have just now, you know, this many years past it just now really starting to get back over the hump. And that still doesn't mean completely back to normal it just means over the hump of the struggle but yep. but really starting to turn around and and i could tell that you were really feeling that way about the glasses and that's some great news yep no i'm a, you know, i mean it really is going to depend on for your uh, text person that texted in is is just how you're going to use them yeah um long term big boat small boat all that would make a difference it's a tough call, man. Right? It's a tough call. It is. It, it's not a. It's not a huge amount of money, but it's a real amount of money for sure. Yeah. And, and and a two year warranty might be. That's a real. Yeah. That no might doubt. be enough to turn somebody that direction. Yep. You know. I yep. mean, if you're quick looking, not going to be in them for a long time. If you're going to run, stop, look, run, stop, look. I mean, the new ones are. You can't go wrong. But if you're going to live in them and and be studying the water for long periods of time. The eye shield and the comfort level, being able to hold the M25E longer, to me, is the plus. Then I would go with that. There you go. Well, there it is. Uh, let's put it this way. The beauty of it is you're not making a wrong decision. I can tell you that much. And, you know, in our, our, our boat or our scenario is the perfect example. We have a pair of each on board. Neil uses the one and I use the other. And, and you know, each of us would argue that they like the other the better. So I, I promise you there's there's no there's no such thing as a bad pair of, of, of glasses that come from uh, gyrobinos.com. That, that's for sure. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming away, including more of your phone calls and texts. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Hey, everybody. This is Captain Dwayne Diego, four-pack charter captain, here to talk to you about Parker Boats and the good folks at West Coast Marine. When it came time to start Pinnacle Sport Fishing and get my own boat, there was only one choice. I wanted a Parker. Then there's a real good reason for it, the fishability and seaworthiness. I've been fishing on Parkers for years now, and I know the abuse they can take. Parker Marine builds a heavy-duty, industrial-strength boat, probably overbuilt, but that's what I need when we're out 12 hours a day, over 300 days a year, running and charters. The guys at West Coast Marine built me one heck of a fishing boat. From the custom tower with steering and throttle controls to the backup bait pump system, my Parker 2520 XLD will deliver me to the fishing grounds reliably and safe. Take it from me. If you're ready for a new Parker at a fair upfront honest deal, you need to see West Coast Marine located at 1555 Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa or check them out and their inventory and information online at westcoastmarine.com. This is Pete, and I hear it all the time. That Jim and Mary at Poway Valley Collision are amazing. I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, mentioned Let's Talk Hookup, and they gave us VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. At some point, your car will need a body repair, and I'm confident in saying it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your next 
next car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. When you take your car or truck to Poway Valley Collision, the job and experience will be top-notch. Get it fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. Safe travel should always include travel insurance. This is Bob Dawson at Dawson & Associates. We offer many different plans from one-year plans to single-trip plans. Traveling twice or more a year, an annual plan will cover most every trip that you make. Also, if you get injured on a trip, it'll fly you back home or fly you to a hospital of your choice, and it's worldwide coverage once you're 100 miles from home. So call me at 619-990-3068 or go to safariglobaltravel.com. All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is, and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglersportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. Hey anglers, AFCO Pro Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters here. As a full-time guide, I'm on the water all year long. It's my livelihood. Having the right clothing is of the utmost importance to staying warm, dry, cool, and comfortable to endure whatever the Pacific wants to throw at me. Thankfully, I'm equipped with AFCO clothing to keep me dialed season after season. Do yourself a favor and check out AFCO's award-winning gear at a dealer near you or learn more at AFCO.com. It is crazy. Hey, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup and uh, having so much fun here with Jimmy King's meal and Rick talking about his uh, God, 10 years without service, man, on stabies. <laughs> Crazy, man. I want to knock on that wood right? loud enough that all you hear it. <laughs> I know it, exactly. Hey, if you want to join us, uh, one open line right now, 213-432-1090. It's all yours right now. We're giving away a uh, $300 gift certificate to Costa Sunglasses. How cool man. is that? How, super cool. So if you want to text the show via the app or you want to give us a call, at, again, 213-432-1090. We had somebody come by the tackle store just yesterday, uh, won a gift certificate, yeah. um, but wanted to be able to find a frame that fit and uh, came down to the shop and tried 10 or 15 different pairs on found the one that they liked just right and then you know went home and ordered their pair you know just wanted to make sure that they didn't get what you that costa has a really good website you know and they they're really informative but there's nothing like trying trying the pair Absolutely. on you know and they ended up going with the uh, jose pros was what the uh was Which what, are the super fi- nice. what the final pick was yeah yeah really cool adjustable earpiece and they got little vents like in the side so when it's real hot you know you don't fog up too bad and uh they're like real resistant to like sunblock and adhesive yeah just bitching really and there really aren't too many shops in socal that have the selection that you guys have i mean i think the long fin i think uh there's the, a lot of really good coasted dealers around we, we do have a bunch no no doubt, have a huge but, selection yeah we got a we got a bunch yeah. of them we're stoked but there's a lot of really good places to find costas mm-hmm. hey we've been talking all morning about some really cool fishing trip opportunities want to tell you about one more it's our let's talk hookup royal polaris trip uh it's an eight-day trip again uh something that has been sold out all year long always tends to happen two spots just uh, just popped open um wayne from cca is always our host every year and he's going to be going yet again on our eight-day royal polaris trip it's december 5th through the 13th been sold out all year long but two spots just became available if you want to get them royal polaris sportfishing.com you can call the girls in the office at 619-226-8030 and speaking of the royal polaris office we still have a couple of spots on our fisherman's landing uh royal polaris el salto trips too oh, so if you want to go down to el salto cool. with a couple of the boys from the shop and uh and uh captain frank lepresti from the royal polaris again give those guys a call 619-226-8030 if you want to get through in the phones uh been packed all morning long 213-432-1090 but before we do that we got the boss on the line pete is uh, joining us live from rancho leonero good morning pete hey hey good morning rick Corey, and jim me, my buddy Jimmy, I want to say hi to my buddy Jimmy, and of course, thank uh, Rock Cod Rick and uh, Corey for manning the fort while I'm down here uh, celebrating the 
the the end of Rancho Leonero as we know it for Man. sure. Um, it's uh, guess what? It's blowing. <laughs> Jimmy Jimmy knows that. He was just down here. It's uh, when we got here. Here's the fun thing. So the uh, John basically is throwing a, a party here, a five day party for his friends uh, to celebrate the end of, of Rancho Leonero. And I was fortunate enough to be on the guest list for that. And uh, Steve Pernard too. So Steve. So most everybody got here on Wednesday, and I was so, so stoked to be because Steve and I flew down yesterday morning on that early Alaska flight, which is a great flight by the way. If you're coming to Cabo, it's at 7 a.m. and you get in early and stuff. It really works out great. But uh, we got here and everybody was like burned from the last two nights, right? So we were like just full charge, ready to roll, and uh, it was super fun to be able to uh, to just uh, start out right right from the beginning there with these guys. But um, yeah, it's it's it, when we got here yesterday, it was blowing probably twenty five plus something like that, and it's it was kind of semi calm this morning, but it's blowing probably twenty now and. And gusting, it's going to gust up a little bit more than that today. But it doesn't spoil the fun because it's still super warm and super beautiful. I'm actually up on the on Jack's Landing here. I'm uh, I was uh, fortunate to get uh, Jack Nielsen's old room, uh, room 35 here. And uh, Steve and I have been paying tribute to Jack and his times up here. That he loved this room and this ranch so much, so much. So uh, Jack, uh, we're thinking about you, and uh, wherever you are, we're uh, we're celebrating you and Rancher Lynn and air help but god i gotta tell you last night the ranch was rocking they had a, a a band from cabo a rock and roll band which i'm like a, i'm an old rocker man i love rock and roll and these guys were rocking called black velvet and uh, because of the wind everything was set up on the inside so i mean it was like oh man it was like you were you were rocking out but it was super fun there was a small group last night uh, uh like 35 but the big going away party is tonight i know a lot of uh uh, major dignitaries are coming, and uh, and uh, I think the Van Warmers are coming over, and a lot of people are coming tonight. So tonight's the big party. It's going to be interesting because the wind's supposed to blow again. So to cram everybody on the inside there like we did last night should be uh, a lot of fun. But I know it's going to be a great celebration, and uh, I want to just congratulate John for his success over the last 40 years here at Rancho Leonero. Crazy. And, uh, and, I just can't and, believe it's yeah, real. I mean, no, it doesn't sound no, right. It's, it's I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it right now, and I'm just saying, what a beautiful. This place is so beautiful. And to think that the wrecking balls are coming in shortly, and it's going to be luxury homes and a, some kind of a, a luxury uh, 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 establishment uh, for people to come visit. You know, it's, it's progress. It's happening here in Los Barriles and uh, Buena Vista and La Ribera. The, the whole area is changing dramatically. But uh, we just have to all be very thankful that we had Rancho Leonero for all the years we had. And uh, there's actually, I was talking to Pamela this morning, there's actually a couple spots left if you want to come before um, December 1st. Uh, actually, if you want to come celebrate Thanksgiving down here, as Jimmy knows, the weather's supposed to come down. It's supposed to be a beautiful Thanksgiving down here, right, Jimmy? Absolutely, yeah. Like three knots of wind for four days in a row. Rad. Crazy. Yeah. So They're might right. be a good time if you want to one one last shot at it here, but uh, but also I wanted to mention too that uh, Jimmy, uh, like all of us, a lot of us in Southern California, turned me on to to uh, Gyro Pros and Fraser Volpe's. I I uh, bought a reefer pair uh, of the uh, is it it's the M twenty five? Is that what you call them, Jimmy? Yeah, the M twenty five E. They're M25. I love those things, man. Like Jimmy said, I mean, don't be afraid of the refurbish because they're basically like a brand new pair of binoculars, right? Yeah, no, they're they're awesome. Brand, brand yeah. new guts, brand new glass. Yep, do it. Yeah. So don't be afraid of those. I love those things, like Ricky does, and uh, they're they're an absolute must to have for sure. And uh, I, I can tell you, if I had my Frasers with me today, pretty much all I'd see is white caps right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that going on down here. But but we've got a we've got a side by side. Steve and I cruise down to La Rivera yesterday down the beach. We're gonna cruise cruise south today and just kind of enjoy it. And then tonight, the big celebration, uh, the going away party for the ranch. And if I'm uh, if I'm capable before I get on my flight tomorrow morning, I'll try and call you up tomorrow and uh, and give you the report on that. But hey, thanks to Jimmy for taking the time to come down, and thanks to you and and Rick, uh, uh, Corey and, and and Rick for for being here. And uh, again, um, 
uh, uh, happy Thanksgiving. If I do not get the call tomorrow, yeah, let, happy let, Thanksgiving to everybody. Let, let's not kid ourselves. You're going to the Saturday night going away party of Rancho Llanero. We'll, we'll talk to you next weekend. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah, let's not kid, let's not <laughs> yeah. kid ourselves. We'll, we'll have a good time. We'll talk yeah, to you maybe, next week. Maybe, maybe we can, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe we'll call. Maybe we'll get John to call in. Yeah, hopefully John will call in tomorrow morning. Yeah, and give yeah, yeah, yet we'll yet again, let's not kid ourselves. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you yeah. both next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Thanks, Have Pete. a great show. Thanks for doing it. All right, See take you, care. Bye. See you, Pete. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's so hard to believe it's shutting down. Huh? Yeah, it's I mean, crazy. Uh, yeah. Right? Forty years. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun, no doubt. Yeah. I, I, yeah. So again, can't believe. Well, the texts are absolutely packed up. Same with the phone calls. Again, if you want to get through, it's two one three four three two ten ninety. This next text, uh, text comes through from Kenny in El Cajon. Jimmy, regarding viewing quality, I use Swarovski uh, and uh, uh, Leica optics for my hunting are gyro binocular uh it sounds like the gyro binoculars are plenty ruggedized how is the optical quality glass compared to high-end glass like i'm used to in the field also how much do they weigh i'm really considering buying a pair for the boat uh they're right around five pounds um and the, i think the by lights are three eight and the s 250s right around four pounds and uh, the optics are good I don't know. I'm not a super expert in glass, but uh, they're they're excellent. I've not had issues, um, yeah. and it's really a matter of uh, condition and and stabilization, which makes you hold them steady, so you can just see infinitely. You know, based on kit conditions. You know, how clear is it, and that's how far you can see. And like we talked about earlier, Jimmy, I mean, if you're a SoCal, like, skiff, yacht, whatever, dude, and the the, the fish might have been a point X yesterday, but what do you do when they're five miles away? Right? Yeah. I mean, which is typically yeah. the case, as I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, no, right? you got to go hunt them down. That's yeah. it. And, and you, if you're, yeah, when, when you get to X, and there's not a foamer sitting there waiting for you. Not you, a bird. Yeah, you're not. you're relying on your eyeballs, and and at best you can see a couple hundred yards with your eyes, or you can see a couple miles with your gyros. I mean, that's it. It's it's the difference. And if if that bird school is X number of yards beyond your vision, you don't see it, and you drive the other direction, or you drive north, south, or wh- whichever, and and you, and you miss it, or you pick those things up, and boom, there it is. And and I keep bringing up the skiff guy because we know it's. The life cycle of the sport guy, right? On the RP or on the Royal Star or Mike on the Tribute, Booger on the San Diego, Matt, it's their game. Like, without, I mean, without a sonar, they're dead in the water. Without gyros, they're yeah. dead in the water. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and back to the question was the glass, I mean, you can get unbelievably good glass in your, in your field optics, and those things are. Three to five thousand mm-hmm. dollars for non-stabilized uh, binoculars, and so you're adding all this stabilization. So I would I would assume that your you know field glass can would, might be a little better quality than than what's in these devices, just based on the, what it costs. Sure, but the stabilization is where it's at. The stabilization that, is that, everything. And and I'll tell you I'll, I'll tell you exactly the difference because we still have a pair of seven by fifties that live on the boat that are whatever the backup, the emergency, the whatever. I can't, and I used to pride myself in thinking I was great at looking through this. I cannot see a thing out of those. I have Baker Marine 750s, the ones that yep. those guys built right, you know, less than a mile from where the studio is right now. Baker by 750s are a great pair of, of glasses. And I used to see everything out of them. Man. You can't look Dude, at them. I can't, can't look, even you look, can't look through, through them anymore. going up swell. I mean, I, it would be, you'd go way up wind and then put your glasses on when you went down swell yeah. so you could see. But when you're going up swell, it's kind of waste. It's wild. Crazy. Yeah. moving too much. T- totally. Well, a, 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 a great text. And why don't we jump back into the phones? Corey? How about Robert? Robert calling from Canyon Country. Good morning, Robert. What's up, Robert? Good morning, guys. Hey, I have a thought for the future. How about a uh, remote-controlled telescope that's mounted up on the flybridge with a screen inside of the wheelhouse? <laughs> there it is. Well, we kind of have that in that FLIR camera. And I, I haven't spotted a tailor yet with it, though. I, I try. Trust okay. me. I set it up, put it in the glare side, and I haven't found one yet. But it's, you know, it's a 
30 optical zoom camera. Yeah. Will you get one at some point, you think? No, the boat has one. Yeah, no, I'm saying will you get a tailor? Like, Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, you'll find you'll yeah. find one at some point. And, and I have it the, on this boat. I have it where it's mounted in reverse, and I was traveling the other day, and I got mad at myself because I I wanted to call out, you know, left rigger, right rigger from the pilot house with the camera looking back, <laughs> and I didn't. And I, oh, that's frustrating. I should have done that. That's Cause, funny. Because it's clear. Those devices are pretty clear, and they're stabilized, and but it just doesn't work like a gyro. It just doesn't. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. Hey, that's a fun fun call and a good call, Robert. Appreciate it very much. Again, if you want to get your shot, 213-432-1090. Not a ton of time, but enough, enough to squeak another one in there. Uh, another text came through from Matt in San Diego. Jimmy, if you wear glasses, how does it work to calibrate for your eyesight, or do you need to wear your glasses while looking through the gyros? That's a great question. So when you look through the gyros with and you have to wear glasses is that the little rubber eye rings you won't want a, an eye shield per se that's not going to work for you but the little rubber eye pieces that come on the device they fold backwards like you push them down and they'll fold up and onto themselves and then your your eye will get a little be able to get a little closer to the image and you rest that rubber rim on your glasses per se and it's a it works just fine harder to harder to describe very easy to see they they come with a you know a little a little rubber piece that comes right off the objective that uh, that you know that kind of folds around your eye but you can just with a push of a finger roll that backwards and it's, create a nice flat piece it, instead of a instead of like a, a cup rick it's almost to describe it, it's almost like a plunger like a plunger yeah, going totally. on your glasses it's a plunger yeah yeah no doubt yeah yeah, yeah. super clean and real easy yeah, my old man used to wear glasses, and that was mm -hmm. it. And but, put them right up just as just as easy, no problem. Just go get some new lenses. I had to do that. Spend a bunch of money, but some contact. Oh my god! No, I got new uh, lenses in my eyes. Oh, you eyes. did? Oh, okay, yeah, you my eyes done. were falling apart. <laughs> and, and it's unbelievable. Like overnight, worth well, every penny. Yeah, thirty minute procedure that oh. cost twelve thousand dollars. But man, wow! That yeah. I want to go do it. I so had bad. some of my crew members were smoking me for the last I don't know <laughs> four four or five years. You They're were tired of being outdone, smoking That's what it was. me, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm missing so much. I'm not seeing, and I got my eyes done. And my best crew member, I kept up with him, and I was super stoked. I'm a I'm a contact lens guy, and I just I can't wait. I can't wait until that money doesn't have a purpose for something else that it needs to right now. Like, cause I I can't wait to get it done. Like, I just yeah. I mean, contacts are fine for now. It's all good, but man, I I just can't Rick, wait. Rick, do I need to remind good. you you're on Baby Watch? I exactly right. I, like, I, that's... I assure you, you don't need to remind me. <laughs> I, I keep like looking at the phone. Like, we're yeah, we're at like the two day mark. Like, two okay, days, just making sure everything's good here no you know 40, got, 48 hours uh tuesday morning yeah okay I, I, unless he comes early but yeah wow. tuesday morning is the is good time. yeah yeah That's we're pumped. exciting yeah totally totally we're excited i want to give you an early uh congratulations <laughs> thanks buddy like i'll take it hey uh, another great text come through good morning guys this is a great show as usual so fun having jimmy in here my question is about the glasses is it possible to put colored filters or polarized lenses on them. I've started using green lenses on my glasses and I swear the color contrast makes it easier for me to find kelps. Uh, does this make any type of sense? This is from Jim uh, in Los Angeles. Yeah, Jim. The, so what we do offer uh, polarized filters and lenses at different colors, but the, the thing about the gyro is we're mostly looking for items that are above the water not items that are in the water. So if you were using gyros from a airplane, you would want to put filters on and you'd see into the water. But when you put filters on, you put polarized filters on, it takes away the contrast. So when a fin sticks up, when a bird is on the horizon, when you it it, it eliminates the the contrast. So like when we're for a perfect example, we used to use the glasses we'd use as amber color because that did, did the least effect on eliminating the contrast. So I, I, it's probably not great for my eyes, and I had to buy new lenses this year. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't put any filters on because I want to see the contrast. So, And, and what I mean is, is you'll have uh, – you look into the gray uh, of the sun, of the glare, and a fin comes up. The sun is behind – the fin, and so when the fin sticks up, it's you're seeing the shadow side of a fin, mm -hmm. and, and the water's gray. 
So that contrast of gray and black shadowed fin, you're going to see it. You're going to look much, much further away, whereas you look the other side of the boat, you have to go close. When the fin sticks up and it's blue and the water's blue in the background, you're just not going to see it. So I don't like the thought of that. So like when somebody spots a tailor in the gyros, you have to get it naked eye to transfer it you know, from the binocular to someone that sees it physically with their eyes with no nothing on their eyes. And if you don't do that, um, you're going to lose uh, the fish. You're just not going to. You're not going to find it. It's definitely good information, man. So, We're going to be right back on Let's Talk Cook Up. We're going to find out who's won this three hundred dollar gift certificate when we return on Let's Talk Cook Up at the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Hey everyone, James Holst here with Norsk Lithium, the official battery partner of Let's Talk Hookup. Here at Norsk Lithium, we have two goals that drive who we are and what we do. The first is to make the highest quality, longest lasting lithium batteries available with a complete lineup of batteries that include 12, 24, 36 volt and starting batteries. Second, in addition to offering a 10 year warranty on all Norsk Lithium Marine batteries, we provide amazing customer service both before and after the sale. It does doesn't matter if you're looking to upgrade your current batteries tomorrow or a year from tomorrow. We're here to answer your rigging questions to get everything set up right the first time. Find us online at norsklithium.com, that's N-O-R-S-K, lithium.com, or call us at 831-232-9063. Or to see North Lithium batteries in person, stop by the Trolling Motor Doctor in Lakewood and have Nick Wayne walk you through why North Lithium batteries should be in your boat. Long range fishing, nothing beats Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Come check out the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body when throwing jigs. The Shimano Trinidad is your top choice with the extreme cranking power and Shimano Super Free Spool provides extreme castability. You'll be able to put your jig in the Wahoo Zone. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. In San Diego, the future belongs to everyone. So Ford engineered the truck of the future for everyone. The Ford F-150, available with a pro-power onboard generator. What a great addition for anglers. There's also a variety of cab configurations for whatever you need to haul. The truck of the future isn't created for just a few. It's created for us who love the ocean and the outdoor life. Ford F-150, test drive one at your local San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome. All right, welcome back to uh, Let's Talk Hook Up, and only one winner, and yeah, we're going to find gonna... out. Yeah, do us the honor, Jimmy's... Jimmy. We got a uh, uh, our prize coin for our Costa winner. Go for it. We have got right, Texter. Texter today is Kenny from El Cajon. Congratulations. Yeah, you got yourself a brand new set of Costas. There is no, yeah, no better pair of glasses. You're going to be so stoked, Kenny. Appreciate yeah. it. No better tool on the water than having those Fraser binos. Uh, so awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time with us, Jimmy. Again, if somebody wants to get a pair, you have pairs in stock right this second. If somebody's in SoCal, wants to have them. Again, you want to talk about the absolute ultimate Christmas gift for yes, an angler, a please. fisherman, period. I please. mean, the single best if somebody owns a boat. This is it. How do we get them? How do we find you? How do we get to you? How do we get the glasses? And how do we get them in time to get them under the tree? Uh, gyrobinos.com. And uh, feel free on the website. It's my phone number. And, you know, if we, if you have, you're one of the texters and you didn't get uh, your text asked, you know, just give it our answer. Just, uh, you know, hit me an email on the website and I'll get to everything I can. You're stoked to answer any questions? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, throw it out there. That's yeah, very good. generous. Be careful though. We had about 130 texts come through for you today. So <laughs> well, that's a lot of that's a lot of uh and we very appreciate all our texters. You know, that's one thing we don't get to talk about is uh you know, we've been blessed with so many people utilizing the text, but uh, and we you know, we just don't have time to get to them all, but there was a lot of gyro questions for you today. It's something that it's something that I think so many people 
are slightly hesitant because it is. It's a major investment. It's, but it's a legit investment. It, it, it is. It, it is. It, and that's what it is. It's an investment in your fishing, in your time, and it will make a difference. It just will. Yeah. No, it's such a small community. Just throw out the question. It's all every big fishing family. Everybody needs to get all the help they can to be productive on the water. No doubt about it. And again, gyropros.com, um, uh, gyrobinos.com is di- directly to the source, but gyropros is directly through you. That, that's, Correct. that's your company. That's how we find access. Questions about it, and uh, and they're going to be coming from you. And like you said, uh, parts become available, reefers available. One more time, give us the rundown of the models that are available and then the cost. So the the S250 is 4995 and the uh, M25 E is 3600. Okay, that's it. And again, not a better uh, not a better ability to uh, to put more fish on the boat and see more safety, distance, everything. It's a it's information it's a tool. Yeah, and for best information gathering tool you got for sure. Jimmy, great job. So appreciate you coming last second and sharing all that great info and that great fishing with us, man. It was a, it was a blast having you. Can't wait to have you back. Thanks, guys. Thanks, buddy, very much. We can't wait to have you back. Another great show coming for you tomorrow morning. Captain Mike Pritchard of the Tribute is going to be joining us. We're going to be talking all about this great late season bluefin. You stay tune you're listening it's let's talk hook up southern california sport fishing voice on the mightier 1090 espn radio and the let's talk hook up app